Hey folks, how's it going? Peter here with BlackRock Business and today we are going to talk about QuickBooks point of sale and receiving your items in after you've ordered them and they're arriving at your store. So previously we talked about making a purchase order and sending that to your vendor whereby they would place your order and start fulfilling it and start sending you the stuff that you wanted to purchase for your store. Now we can see on the screen here we got a little truck and that is going to symbolize when the truck arrives and shows up with your stuff so that you can receive it into your inventory and start selling it. So once it arrives, you're going to click on the truck icon. And now you are going to click on receive from PO right here. You can also create a receiving voucher for stuff that you... I don't know, maybe you picked it up somewhere, you just bought it on a whim, and you want to sell it in your store. In that case, you are not going to receive from PO. You're just going to start creating items on the menu bar here. Well, we have three different POs that are open right now from all the different vendors, and I'm going to receive some of the merchandise that I ordered in our previous video uh, from Bob at Sweet Merch. So I'm just going to check the checkbox here. Now, if everything on my entire order uh, has arrived, I can just receive all that is due. But if only part of it arrived, I'm going to just select the items to receive. So um, some vendors you might order from may send uh, several different packages, maybe from different, maybe from different locations or different warehouses. And so you might only want to receive part of the order if only part of it has arrived. Uh, the key here is if you only receive part of the order, the PO is going to remain open. If you receive everything that you've ordered, then it's automatically going to close the purchase order. And that is the key in this system to help us know what is outstanding in an order and what has arrived. And if you don't see the purchase order anymore, then you can look in your receiving history and see that everything you ordered has arrived and has been loaded into inventory. So I'm just going to select a few items here, pretending that maybe only one of the t-shirts has arrived. So I got the four pen tester shirts and I'm going to hit continue. I don't think there's any reason for me to uh, copy over my notes from the purchase order that was actually for the vendor. It's not really for me, but if there is some notes that you want in your receiving voucher for some odd reason, you can click the check mark there. Now I'm going to continue. It's going to automatically load in the amount that I ordered on purchase order number three into the quantity and into the item here. And then it automatically has the vendor already. And really all I have to do is save or save and print. And if you save and print, it's going to print out a receiving voucher. I don't know, maybe you want to keep a paper trail or paper record. Maybe you're one of those super organized people. Now, before I save and print, if you watched the QuickBooks Financial video, the one where we attached point of sale to QuickBooks Financial, you can set uh, certain settings when you do that so that uh, we would automatically create a bill in QuickBooks Accounting. That can be very useful because if you are receiving uh, your items that you ordered, you're going to have to pay your vendor at some point. So if I click on the billing info, you can either mark this voucher as already paid. Uh, if you paid up front, you can do that. Then it'll just automatically record uh, an expense or a paid bill. But if you have like a net 30 or net 45, then you're not going to check that. Uh, you're going to look at the slip that showed up with your merchandise, and maybe it has like some sort of maybe it has some sort of uh, purchasing number, invoice number, packing slip number, something like that. And you can just put any number in here really that helps you to define in QuickBooks Accounting what this is and where it came from. So I'm going to hit close. You can certainly say net 30 here, and that'll set the bill in QuickBooks Accounting. 
for net 30 so then you can see when your bills do so I'm gonna go ahead and hit close and I'm gonna save or save and print now this has popped up right here and it's told me that I've received orders for this shirt and so I have an open customer sales order that wants to be fulfilled by this shirt and I can jump on over and fill the customer orders uh, immediately this is super handy if you run your store with sales orders and uh, I would be able to fulfill a customer's order before I put the rest on the shelf that way you're not going to miss out on somebody's order and accidentally sell everything uh, before fulfilling maybe internet or mail or phone orders I'm just gonna close because that's kind of a different subject and there you have it we've received that item into our inventory now if we go on the item list and we look at that item we now have four of them that are available for sale and also if I jump into the receiving history I can go ahead and look and see that we received four items from sweet merch on 531 and uh, the payment invoice number was this and the total cost was this and there you have it uh, we've received the inventory and now we can sell it my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Don't forget to check out some of the links below. We got a few QuickBooks secrets for you. Or you can jump on over to Facebook and join our QuickBooks Point of Sale uh, knowledge group where you can ask other users of QuickBooks Point of Sale your questions or get their opinions on ways to use Point of Sale to your advantage. My name is Peter. Have a great day.